What's going on guys, it's SJ Sports and welcome back to Youth Academy Region Series 1 Episode 107 with Cambridge United. In this episode we're expecting a lot of transfer activity. Player sold then the deal to sell Henri and Yang to Liverpool for £50.5 million has now been finalised and they have agreed on personal terms. The board have allocated £43 million to our current transfer budget. First game of the episode then is Cambridge United against Crystal Palace. He's starting 11 is for Chivin Gold, Tomasovic, Drexler, De Santos, Hope you're back for Haller and Salem are your CDMs, Perez, Lee and Garcia and Bukowski. A lot of you guys see him play Garcia a lot more. Now the departure of Enyang is going to allow us to do that. Corner kick then for Palace. It's right under the nose of the chime. It's not convincingly. And oh my god, Jesus Christ, what is going on there, lads? Sort it out at the back. But the ball keeps coming back to us. Here's Dan Danielino inside the area. Looks to cross it in and a header by Martel and it goes wide. And that was a great chance for Crystal Palace. Here come Palace then, working it well. Here's Cork, slide channel comes in, hope. Whoa, well done, mate. Corner comes in then, like the fourth corner from Palace, and Hall Haller heads it off the line. Great play by Haller, the right man in the right place at the right time. So a corner then, Bannon is a taker again for Chives, come this time and he's claimed it. And it eases the pressure on the Cambridge back four. We've been under a bit of pressure early on in this game already. Ball's played through to Allison again, and it's in a chance here. And Martel looks to go around for Chive, and it's gone down as another chance for Crystal Palace. And how many chances are they going to spurn? And we are all over. We're at sea at the back to Salem. Salem then going forward. Salem looks to feed Bukowski through. This is our first chance of the game, and we hit the post. Unbelievable. Bukowski hits the post, and that is our first attack of the game. And it comes back off the post. Perez then lays it out wide to De Santos. Looks for the run of Bukowski. Looking, this is looking a dangerous attack for us. Laid inside. Oh, Garcia got his shot horribly wrong. It might come back to him. He's challenging for it. The keeper's in there. And oh my lord. Oh my god. What an unbelievable goal mouse scramble that was. Well, that's half time. It's not been a very convincing first half by Cambridge United standards. We've been under the cosh for most of that first half. We're going to give him the hairdry treatment at half time. It's 0 0. Wow, De Santos, great challenge. Here is Luis Lee. He's not had a good game so far. But, I mean, look at that for a pass, man. What is going on? Here come Palace again with Watting inside the area. Played through. Drexler's done enough to try and get there. Great save by Fachive. Right, Spalves there. We've made a change up front. Bukowski is the man that's got to the bench, and Spalves is trying to do the hard work running all the way around the Palace defenders he's cut inside really well here oh Spalves mate Spalves oh the shot comes in and it, oh, it was offside by Chavez Chavez done well finds Haller Haller finds Salem Salem in towards Spalves Spalves then lays it off towards Chavez Chavez then Gonna have a dig, is he? Chavez, good shot. Spalves, will he turn it in with a header? He won't, that's unlucky. De Santos looks to play it through. Here is Spalves. Spalves then lays it off towards Chavez, who hits it. Good save by the keeper. Perez, will he cross it back in? He does towards Chavez, and yes! We have scored, finally we have scored. We've been creating a little bit more chances in the last 10 minutes of this game. And we have, when them chances have come to us, we have taken them, unlike Crystal Palace. It has to be said, it has come against the run of play. It was a great strike by Chavez initially. Perez just puts it on the plate for uh, Chavez and he heads us into a 1-0 lead. Cross comes in, knows it's going to be a free header and they've equalised. Fernandez has equalised. And take nothing away from Crystal Palace. It's what they did definitely deserve. And we fell asleep at the back there. And we didn't close down the man. It's a little weird celebration by him. And it was just an easy goal. It's a very sloppy goal to concede. And Crystal Palace deservedly draw level. It's 1-1 now. There goes the full time whistle. The points are shared here at Cambridge United. It's been a disappointing performance. We're lucky to come away with a point. We're lucky to be leading. And it's finished Crystal Palace 1. Cambridge United 1. So a new offer then for Danny Antonson. Then we are going to offer him 50... Oh, we're going to offer Barcelona, rather, £50 million. Pounds. Next game of the episode, then we take the trip to St. Mary's. You can see he's starting 11 on screen now. There's, one, there's two changes, sorry, to the side uh, that drew to Crystal Palace. El Shamari in goal and Kawakao come in for Fajive and Salem. Cross comes in. Oh, it's a free header. And Southampton take the lead. And since this new update, we've seen three-headed goals in this episode already. Go on, Lee. Lewis Lee then from distance. Oh! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I thought that was going wide. 
The keepers, oh my god, we have probably seen the goal of the series so far. Lewis Lee take an absolute bow, son. It was a risky effort. We always try to do that now and again, and it paid off eventually. We Look, we from the kickoff, Lee beat that marker. No one closed him. Oh my word, look at that. That is an unbelievable finish by Lewis Lee. I thought that was going wide, I have to admit. But the post came to our rescue and it fell kindly for Lewis Lee. Unbelievable strike. Unbelievable ability. Hits the post and goes in. And we're right back on level terms. What a start to this game. Lewis Lee, mate. Take a fucking bow, son. Oh, Tadic. Tadic hits it. Ooh, it was a good strike. And had Shamari worried and it just went past the post. It was a great strike. Take a look at it from this angle. Always curving away from goal. Gaston Ramirez and Ward Prowse has got a bit of space. Drexler tries to do well to slide in. He's laid off and Southampton have scored. It's Schneiderlin and Southampton take the lead for the first time in this game. And Schneiderlin is definitely excited about that, scoring that goal. Suspicion of offside maybe, I'm not so sure. The goal does stand and Southampton definitely take a 2-1 lead. And it's oh, uh, Shamari's in, I don't know what Shamari's positioning was doing then. And it's a goal and it's 2-1 to Southampton. Ball play forward to De Santos then. Plays it behind. Here is Spalvez then looking to get a bit of space to get his shot away. He has done well played by Spalvez. It's a great save by the goalkeeper. And up comes El Shamari then for this corner kick. So Lee will take the corner and it goes towards the headers. And it's cleared by Southampton. And it's come to a Southampton man. And this spells danger for us. Shamari's not even in his goal. He's not even going to shoot. He's the lad. Oh, he's back healed it to Rodriguez, then he might get shot away. No, he's played to Ramirez, who shoots, and he got it horribly wrong. He's got Cornelius to beat. Perez then in goes across towards Spalvez. Easy for the goalkeeper, and that's probably going to be that, and it is that. And we taste defeat at the St Mary's. Southampton have done enough to beat us here by two goals to one. The highlight of the game, though, was the Lewis Lee unbelievable finish. But we don't pick up any points on the road. It's finished Southampton 2, Cambridge United 1. So Barcelona have come back and said that they have set an initial £55.5 million for their strikers. So we're going to go ahead and offer them that deal to get this guy in. Uh, we don't want to be messing about. We don't want to be beating about the bush with this. Let's get him in, guys. He's an 87 overall. So Barcelona have accepted our transfer offer for Denny and Thompson. Then here we go. He wants 170 grand per week, three years. We'll give him crucial first team player. So he has rejected his contract offer, but he says he thinks he can be persuaded. Okay, so what we'll do then is we'll go 200 grand per week and a crucial first team player. That's a lot of money. Again, he's declined our offer. Okay, so we're going to have to up our ante there. We're going to go 240 per week this time and send that on its way. We're going to go in for the market then for Casper Cornelius. We're going to offer them £9 million for this player. Get Cornelius back to his beloved Cambridge United where he started out his career. Receive a transfer offer then for Spalvez, £15.5 million. Pounds. We're definitely going to reject that. It's nowhere near what he's currently worth. And also, we've received another offer for Spalvez. And again, it's a 13 and a half. It's nowhere near his valuation, so we'll reject that one as well. So there we go, then. He has accepted his contract, £240 grand per week for Antonsen. Then, and you know, the transfer sum is £55.5 million. Pounds. We have gone ham with this offer. He's a good little player. He's 87 rated, so he's the highest rated player in Cambridge history and as you can see there Casper Cornelius they have rejected they feel that the sum is too low okay so we'll we'll up our we'll up our game then to 15 million pounds for Cornelius we really do want this guy back so Southampton have set an initial asking price of 15 and a half million pounds for Cornelius we're going to offer them that then it's only half a million more but we'll send that on its way so Southampton have accepted our 15 and a half million pounds for Cornelius then we are going to offer him a 45 grand per week we're going to go crucial first team player so, Cornelius then has rejected our contract offer and he says he has no intention of ever playing for us again given the history between us. He doesn't think the fans would ever accept him again. So the move um, is going to be off by the looks of things. That's very disappointing. Final game of the episode then is Cambridge United against Swansea City who are in second place in the table. Your starting 11 is for Chiving Goal, Thomas Servic, Drexler, De Santos, Hope, Chavez, Salem, Perez, Lee, Olison gets a rare start and our new signing Anton Antonsen up front. And the space for Fredder inside the box. No one's gone to him. Oh, good save. No, it's been given as a penalty. We slid in to, to block the shot. He got his shot away. 
And for Chive did make a great save, and it's the Santos that's given the penalty kick away. Keep putting him off. Keep putting him off, lad. Oh, he's hit the post and it's gone in. And somehow Swansea City lead by one goal to nil. And if you're at the right end of the table, your luck is definitely in. And the luck was definitely on his side there. He's 1-0 to Swansea City. Touch up on his own. He cuts back inside really well onto his favoured left foot. Will he get his shot away? He has done really well. He has and McCarthy makes the save. Swansea just keep the ball really well. And Sheen's in space here. Shot comes in and it's 2-0 to Swansea City. And we are getting run riots here. It's not a good... Not good performance, far too much space on the ball. And in he goes again, well done Drexler. That's the determination we need, he's determined to not let them through. Perez tries to lay it through to Lewis Lee, will he get there? Has he got the strength? Lee then, he's beating the man, Lee to score, he has done, we've got one back. Get in there, great goal from Lewis Lee. It was a good team goal, then Lewis Lee still had an awful lot of work to do. And my word, did he do that fantastically well, skipping past the challenges. He was so strong there, the centre-half and Swansea couldn't catch him and he tooks it into the bottom corner, past McCarthy, who had absolutely no chance. And it's Cambridge 1, Swansea City 2. Antonson then laid it to Lewis Lee. Lee back to Antonson. Olsen then get up with him, well done. Olsen then, go on son. Olsen still going, still Olsen going, still Olsen going. He's surely fouled and it's going to be a penalty kick. Well done by Olsen, great play by him, he's waited for support and it's a booking for the Swansea man and we've got a great opportunity to get ourselves level in this game. It's Anthony Hope that's going to take this penalty kick for us, up he steps, it's in the green area, Hope equalises and it's 2-2 and Anthony Hope, we had full confidence in him bagging that penalty and he just did that and it's put the scores back on level terms, it's Cambridge 2, Swansea City 2 and what a game we have on our hands here now. Well, there goes the full-time whistle. We take a point apiece against Swansea City. And it's been a disappointing episode in terms of three points. We haven't picked up a win. But we was 2-0 down against Swansea. We did really, really well to get it back to 2-2. We nearly did enough to win it, I felt. But it's finished. Cambridge 2, Swansea 2. So, boys, this episode is coming to an end. Hope you have enjoyed. If you have, then make sure you give this video a like. As you can see, the league table is on the screen. We are in sixth place. A little bit disappointing episode-wise regarding points and stuff. But a positive to take is that we drew against Swansea City, uh, where especially when was 2-0 down. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you can get about uh, 50 likes on this video, it would be greatly appreciated. And I will catch you guys on my next video. Video and goodbye. Points with a game in hand on the team below.